So for those of you that don't know, in this shop, mostly we make circles. Let's see, we have circles there. Got some circles there. This one we got tricky and we did like a circle with another circle on top of it. I think we call them BB-8s. This piece right here, this is actually a mistake. We were trying to do circles and somehow we came out with some rectangles. Over there we did some more circles. We've got a table full of circles. So now we want to make a bullet out of the thickest circle we can find. The thickest scrap, right? To then make a circle, right? Is that what you're saying? We're, we're gonna cut a circle out of a circle. Make a thick circle. Yeah. Okay. Got some decently thick circles right here, but... We need to have a... Unfortunately, we can't do that one because that is actually not metal. That's some kind of stone or concrete. Ooh, that one. That... Is that aluminum? aluminum. Nah, that's too soft. So far, I think that one's the winner. About how heavy is that, Craig? Uh, I don't know. It's like six babies. Probably. Our thickness is measuring at two and a half inches, which means it'll take about $38, 18 minutes, 24 pounds of abrasive, and is going to take it 50 seconds to pierce. It's gonna be raining in here. Making it rain. Hammered out. Go. So yeah, it would be like a bullet, um, but metal bullet. So could you have it done tonight? Okay, love you too. He's in? He's in. A few moments later. We got it back. Oh, uh, nice. So we got our bullet made by Patrick, and based off the measurements of this, this is about 150 caliber bullet. Yeah, I weighed it. It's a one pound, three ounces, or like 528 grams for the gram people. And uh, we're going to shoot this through a water heater, see if it'll go through both sides. Prediction? Like, I'm really hoping it will, but I don't. I think it will. I'm kind of skeptical. Yeah. Here's our setup. We've got some side walls set up in case for some reason it glances off and tries to go to the side. Once it goes through, I'm pretty sure the flue going up the center of it is going to stop it. But just in case that doesn't or something else happens, we've also got a giant log back here being held up by this giant pallet. And uh, I feel like nobody's gonna die. I think no one will die, but I'm not sure that this will all stay standing after the air can No, there's off. like an 80% chance that all of this is just down on the ground after we shoot it. Probably mostly because of the air pressure. That brings us to our next point of thanking the sponsor of today's video, Dollar Shave Club. If you're having a terrible day at work, you got a Dollar Shave Club to freshen up. If you lick something that you shouldn't have, Dollar Shave Club has got you covered with their toothbrush and toothpaste. Whatever manscaping you need to take care of, don't use a water jet, use Dollar Shave Club. If your stench is causing those around you to tear up, <coughs> Dollar Shave Club now offers clones and body washes to keep you smelling fresh. Are your lips feeling parched from that cold winter wind? Dollar Shave Clubs now has chapstick. Mm. Are your hands as dry as a dehydrated rattlesnake? Dollar Shave Club has a hand cream to take care of that. If your bathroom projects end up looking a little like this, Dollar Shave Club has what they call one wipe Charlies. It'll take care of it. Dollar Shave Club now offers three different starter kits. And if you go to dollarshaveclub.com slash waterjet, 
you can get one of these starter kits for just five dollars they have a shower kit an oral care kit and the classic shave kit all of dollar shave club's products are really high quality if you've been watching the channel for a while you probably know my favorite it's the one wipe charlie it's like taking a shower in the middle of the day <laughs> you know what i mean i'm scared yeah i can see that i've got my battle shield here some quarter inch aluminum. Aluminium, Dan. Oh, my bad. Okay, three, two, one. It was so traveling very, very, very slowly. Holy cow. What happened? Did it go through? So, uh. So the tank's in there. Once it hit that tank, it I just think bounced you back. Hit your target. Yeah, we were right on the X. So we definitely did not go through. You see that tank? We just dented the tank a lot. Huh. You wanna do another shot? I think so. Three, two, one. The bullet did not come back that time. No. Stayed in there that time. Cannot go through that inside tank though. What's the uh, next logical step? Uh, since it won't fit under the water jet, Sawzall is the next line of operation. I gotta surgically remove this bullet first. With precision. Successfully got the bullet out, and we will be saving this for some future videos. It fared pretty well. <laughs> That's so like, well blade. That's like... <laughs> is that not how it's supposed to be? <laughs> that is a good size dent. Let me see if I can... That angle, you can see it a bit better. Six hours later, finally got an inside glimpse. Shine your light in there. Let's see what you were, uh... hmm, that's gross. No, this was for my rental unit. Oh, so that's what your tenants are, were using? It's not as uh, rusty and gross. I mean, it is gross looking, but I kind of expected it to be worse. I mean, that's gross. <laughs> Hard water deposits, I uh, would assume. I mean, there's only one way to be sure about that. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard water.